I want to read an article. It is called Eight Signs You Are Under Spiritual Attack. The website is charismamag.com. Okay, number one. Loss of spiritual desire. The goal of any spiritual attack is to turn you away from what God wants to do in your life. This is why the first warning sign of attack is a loss of spiritual desire. We don't live by feelings alone, but there is a difference between doing something merely out of obligation and doing something because you delight in it. When you delight in the Lord, nothing else compares. Someone passionate for God finds pleasure in the things of God. Number two, physical fatigue. The second warning sign is physical fatigue. I know that doesn't sound very spiritual, but keep in mind that we are created beings, spirit, soul, and body. If my body is weak, it allows things to get into my mind, soul, and that allows things to negatively affect my spirit. Many times we face our greatest attacks just before a great promotion or just after a great victory. Keep in mind when you're going through it in attack, in attack could very well be an indication that you are about to be promoted or just had a great victory. Number three, lack attack. The third sign that you are under attack is a lack attack. There are times when it seems that all of your resources dry up at the same time. The enemy attacks in this to get you to take your eyes off of God and put your eyes on money. If he can get you worrying rather than worshiping, you will start making decisions based on opportunity rather than anointing. Always remember there are two times in your life when you are especially vulnerable to temptation. When you have nothing and when you have everything. Stay close to God in both the good times and the bad times. Number four, weak prayer life. The fourth sign that you are under spiritual attack is a weakening prayer life. Could you not watch with me one hour? Jesus asked his disciples. Then he told them, watch and pray, lest you enter into temptation. The spirit indeed is willing, but the flesh is weak. Matthew 26 40 through 41. Number 5. Feeling overwhelmed and helpless. Are you feeling overwhelmed by circumstances? That could be a sign that you are under attack. The word circumstance comes from two words, circum and circle, and stance, stand. In other words, you are standing encircled by what's going on. It doesn't take long for feelings of being overwhelmed to lead to hopelessness. 
the Bible says hope deferred makes the heart sick Proverbs 13 and 12 it also tells us faith is the substance of things hoped for the evidence of things not seen Hebrews 11 and 1 if the enemy can get you to lose hope he can get you to stop living by faith number six old habits and lifestyles resurface the sixth sign that you are under spiritual attack is that old iniquities <clears throat> begin to resurface in your life what is an iniquity some consider iniquities to be those old habits that your soul wants to fall back on when things aren't going your way things that indulge the flesh if this begins to happen do not ignore the warning conviction of the Holy Spirit number seven pulling away from godly relationships when old iniquities start tempting you the next sign of spiritual attack is sure to follow pulling away from godly relationships look around have you pulled out of relationships with people at church or with people in your small group are more and more of your friends carnally minded rather than spiritually minded if so you are stumbling around the battleground and the enemy has a target on your head number eight five do not to break the enemy's attack once you've taken a stand against the enemy's attack there are five do nots you must remember number one do not forget who made you God created you with storms in mind he has equipped you and you are going to make it through in him number two do not forsake the time and place of prayer two things that are vital to a successful prayer life a time of prayer and a place of prayer number three do not forsake the place of power your church is a place of power number four do not forsake the power of partnership it is good to be around people who have lived longer done more than you have and can give wise counsel number five do not disconnect from pastoral protection I have often seen people under attack whom I wanted to pull close and help but they refused don't wait until the enemy is tearing you to pieces to seek the aid of those in a pastoral role in your life if you are under attack you can arm yourself against the enemies the enemies schemes equip yourself to fight and win so this is the last that I am going to read so I hope you guys can understand this God bless